All right, I, I didn't make the, my introduction. I'm George Maniatis. I'm one of the co-instructors for the course. Uh, this is History 297 WW2. It's a college course. And when we developed this course, we developed it in the sense that it is an experiential learning class. Now, some of you who have been following us for the last few years have noted that we do a three-course series on the Civil War, one being History 212, Gettysburg, History 214, Vicksburg, and last year we previewed a new course, History 297, Chattanooga, Chickamauga. What we know is history can be a dull recitation punctuated by lots of great stories depending on how apt the professor is. Now myself and my colleague Kurt Troutman, we try to fashion ourselves to be the best storytellers possible. But we know that history can be one dimensional. You read it, you try to make a mental image, you don't know what you're necessarily reading sometimes. So we decided to go one step further. We go to the places where history is created. In the case of the Civil War, we went to the battlefields. Clearly with a course of this top of this magnitude and on this topic, it would be impossible for us to take a world tour. Right? We'd love to go to the beaches in Normandy, <laughs> probably do some island hopping starting with Pelu and Iwo Jima, etc. Obviously that's not possible. But we came to the next best place, the USS Silverside, which is our piece of history here in Muskegon. And also, later on in the course, LST 393 will be part of the discussion, even though we're not going to the boat because they can't fire it up in the winter. It's too hard to do that just for one evening. They will present themselves. We are very fortunate. Muskegon shared a very storied role in World War II. We were part of the arsenal of democracy, and we have a great history to tell. And we've got great people to tell it to, many of you people Just again, for a show of hands, World War II veterans tonight. <laughs> and then it would be remiss, all veterans, if you please place your hands. <laughs> we honor all of your service, and thank you. Okay, now let me introduce our speaker this evening. This is Mr. Kurt Troutman. Kurt has been a good colleague of mine for the last six years. However, he started at Muskegon Community College in 2002. Kurt is a world traveler and a quite a bon vivant in many ways. Formerly in the Peace Corps, part of it, in um, which country again? Lesotho, Southern Africa. Lesotho, Southern Africa, involved with the UN efforts in many parts of the world and peacekeeping and voter monitoring and this sort of thing, comes to us with a good background in international relations. He is also a, a, a professor of political science and has been instrumental in the model United Nations program at the Speaking Community College, where teams of students represent a country in a, model, a mock simulation at a conference in Chicago against teams from places like Harvard, <coughs> Yale, Rutgers, many of the Big Ten, as well as Ivy League schools, and we have done quite, quite well in those competitions, much to the testimony of Kurt and the caliber of the schools <coughs> that we have at MCC. So we're really fortunate to have it. This evening's topic, Kurt, is? We're going to learn about Blitzkrieg. Come forward and off we go. All right. I'm going to step on the other side. George, thank you very much for that. And as I always, thank everybody here. One of the great things about working at Muskegon Community College is that this is truly a community that supports its college. And so students, we're really glad to have the opportunity to provide a class for you in this genre, at this setting. But really look around and think of all these community members are supporting us at our community college. So community members, thank you very much. 